Welcome back to The Helpful Home. I'm Sunday Dawn, and as you have seen, today's Tiny Tidy was not so tiny. Don't worry, there's a Tiny Tidy coming. However, this morning was a great big humongous tidy. We spent part of the weekend at the beach, came home on a Saturday night, got up, had a Sunday, which is a big day for my family. Um, Sunday afternoon, we did a humongous Costco haul, and so, um, yeah, that's what happened. Did you see what happened? That's what happened. They don't often live that way. But when I do, I see it as a great big opportunity to share some very beautiful, inspiring before and afters because like them were some before and afters. Am I right? Yeah. So I really, I thought about filming it and then I just thought like, it's not a tiny tidy. So I'll give you a little montage of the before and afters, and then I will move on to my tiny tidy for today, which is kind of exciting. Um, hubby surprised me with a trip to Hawaii at the end of this summer, so we leave in about a month. Yeah, one month from today. Um, but I don't wanna wait that long to figure out what I've got for Hawaii clothes and figure out what I need. Fortunately, it's summertime, so I'll be able to pick up a few things if I need to, but, um, I mean, really, all I need is a swimsuit and like a cover up and flip flops, right? So I'm gonna try not to go crazy. I know I'm set in the swimming suit department. I don't know if he is, but but we're about to see my hidey holes. Remember my hidey holes? So one of my hidey holes in my closet is where all the summer things get shoved during the winter time. And we actually haven't taken very many vacations this summer. Um, we're capping it off with a great big trip to Hawaii, so we're doing fine, but we chose yard work. My husband has a lot of paid time off. He works for the government, so we'll take those perks. And so he's been taking a lot of time off to do like a really massive backyard overhaul. So we've spent most of our summer just working around our house and enjoying time at home with family. So, so really we haven't even dug out our summer things we haven't even dug out beach towels or swimwear because we really the first day we spent at the beach was this weekend which is kind of unusual for us so a little late in the game to get out my summer things but it's early to get out my summer things for hawaii um so that i can decide what hubby and i need now i'm going to show you that hidey hole and it usually also collects things on top of my summer bin so let's find out what i've been collecting so you saw the state of my laundry situation during my massive before, but I didn't show you my after because my after wasn't quite done. All I have done is towels are washed, lights are in the washer, and my colors over there still need to go in. So I'm about two thirds done with laundry. I put away the laundry that was on the floor, but I have a hidey hole back in there. And I have a big hidey hole back in there. Can you see that rat's nest? There's all kinds of stuff in there on top of my summer bin. So let's drag everything out and find out what we've got. Okay, so I've literally pulled out the tower from my hidey hole. That is what I store back there, tucked behind my laundry bin. And the bottom tote is essentially supposed to be my summer tote. It's got, I wonder if that's where hubby's trunks are. It's got all of our beach towels and it should have my husband's trunks, I believe. This was the reason behind, not that. The tiny tidy is my hubby bought us some really wonderful Danner water shoes. Um, for when we take the kayak to Bend, which is like an outdoor haven here in the Pacific Northwest. So we have brand new Danner water shoes that I needed to know what I did with, but I was pretty sure I tucked them back here in my summer stash. Um, heat pad, two heat pads in my summer stash. That don't make no sense. Um, extra purses. Oh, those are travel purses. I had these out from Florida. Okay, travel purses kind of make sense in my mind for my summer bin because the last time I was in here was Florida. And, oh, my extra duvet cover and my sheet straps, which I totally need because as you saw in my before, my sheets are popping off my bed. So that was a major find today and I would have never looked in my summer stash. So. Here's to small miracles. So let's find out what I'm stashing in my overnight bag. Hopefully it's all my swimsuits and my cover-up. Woohoo, this was a major find also. I found our neck pillows for the plane. Yay, we have neck pillows. I, of course, have 
such a Sunday fancy faux fur neck pillow because if you're gonna have a neck pillow you might as well look good and my hubby has a really tacky one that he had to buy at the airport on our way home from Disney World because he lost his, I think it was on his suitcase and it fell off in the airport. So we bought this really tacky one in the airport on the way home with a snap. So he won't lose it again, but alas, his really nice one is, is gone. Somewhere in Florida is currently using it. Okay, hubby swim trunks, my swim shorts, hubby swim trunks, hubby swim trunks. Baywatch red one piece that my husband bought me in Florida because you know, men and my new swimsuit oh another new swimsuit that i got from my sister aunt and a swim skirt that might be it oh yay i thought i had a new cover-up so cute new cover-up what else is in here? It's like the Mary Poppins bag of overnight bags. I think that might be it. That and some sand. Is there anything in the pockets? Anything in the pockets? Let's find out. Oh, that's dirty. That needs washed. <laughs> A pebble from Florida. Not sure what that's about. That appears to be it. I'm not going to dump that on my bed because that would be a sandy mess. But I did find the things I really needed, which was swimwear, which I knew was back there, my Danner water shoes, which I thought were back there, and neck pillows were just an added bonus. Now let's take a peek inside my actual tote. Okay, so just beach towels, which kind of surprises me. But, you know, I think my husband's trunks used to be in there, and so... Um, I'm not sure if I will put, I think I'm not going to put this swim wear away. I think I'm going to fill my overnight bag with everything we're taking to Hawaii just so that that's together. I probably won't be bringing that actual overnight bag because I'll be carrying on one roller carry on luggage. And then we each carry a really large backpack for our personal item. It usually has this, like all my toiletries and camera gear that type of thing so um, my beach bag will probably just be laid flat in my suitcase but I still think I'm gonna load up everything we need into my overnight bag and leave it where it's very accessible so that when we go to pack in a couple weeks it's an easy packing situation but for now swimsuit fashion show I'm so kidding you didn't really think you were gonna get a swimsuit fashion show did you <laughs> Like the last thing you need is somebody's Nana's swimsuit fashion show. Um, by the way, I did mention my red Baywatch one piece and it is not literally a red Baywatch one piece. It is fairly decent because I requested a very high neck. Um, but yeah, like I said, men, I ruined my swimsuit at our Disney resort in Florida and I needed a new one. And so my sweet hubby said, I've picked you out a swimsuit. I've ordered it. It's at Target and we just have to go pick it up. And I was like, okay, I guess we'll go with whatever you picked knowing that there would be a big selection of swimsuits in Target and I'd probably be able to pick my own as well but I thought it was so sweet that he was like I found a swimsuit that I think you'll like and I got there and I will show it to you it is just hilariously Baywatch red one piece like it's not gonna make me look like Pamela Anderson babe <laughs> but I thought it was super cute that he tried um so anyways I'll take it it's pretty cute it's pretty flattering he knows I like the really high racer back neck and so he got that and I have a cute little skirt that goes with it so no swimsuit fashion show because like seriously I'm 45 know thy freaking self but I might lay them out because I'll mix and match my skirt and shorts and decide if maybe I want one more okay I will lay them out and we will take a poll are you ready to help me pack for Hawaii Okay, so I feel like I'm set for swimsuits. They are all three new since just last year. I picked them up in 2021 again, and we'll go in order. Husband's Baywatch One Piece. <laughs> a 
Am I right? Is that so hilarious? When your man picks your swimsuit and this is the one he comes up with. I mean, teenage boy dreams just do not die hard. Um, uh, this one, my sister aunt, if you know, you know, um, she picked this one up for herself. I don't think she liked the way it fit. I love it. Love the way it fits. It's like a very square neck. I'm pretty busty-ish. Um, and so it has like some ruching. It's not as high neck as my typical swimsuits because I usually get a very high neck for that reason, but it's got some ruching and it's kind of a square neck tie behind the neck so I can kind of get it up high. And then this was just a really cute fit. I love it. And it's so Hawaii. How cute is that? This was my pick in Florida. As I said, I ruined my swimsuit. I just rubbed, I rubbed a hole through like the side of it on the back on the concrete pool surface in our in our Disney um, resort pool. I'm not sure how, but leave it to me. Um, so so anywho, we were on our way home, flight got delayed and realized we were like stuck in Florida. Oh no, right? There was a freeze and we were stuck in Florida for like three more days. We just got a beautiful hotel at the airport um, and I needed a swimsuit. So hubby ordered me one at Target. I went and I picked myself this little number, which is um, about as peekaboo as I get. Tiny bit of peekaboo, but still very high. Um, and little tie behind the neck straps. Love that fit. And then I do typically, again, know thyself, I'm somebody's Nana, wear some sort of a short or a skirt. So I have a brand, I bought both of these because um, my other swimsuit that I ruined had a navy skirt, um, but all of these looked better with black. So I bought a little pair of swim shorts, those need lint rolled, and a little swim skirt. It has a cute little tie. And I bought myself a new cover up. We just like, we were supposed to go home from Florida. Here, let me spin this around. So we were supposed to come home from Florida. I think we spent like 10 or 11 days there last February, really when stuff was just opening up. It was pretty crazy. We were pretty careful. We totally stayed in when everyone was quarantined. And then I would say we were pretty careful for a very extended period of time until my husband lost his Disney mind. And um, we missed a 25th anniversary trip in 2020 to Disneyland Paris. And so he just freaked out and he was like, we're going to Florida next week. And I was like, okay, somebody watch my dog. Kids were going to Florida. And so we took off to Florida, got there, spent 10 or 11 days. My kids, the last time I messaged them, they were like, it's kind of stormy here. And I sent them a picture of me lounging by the pool with my feet up, maybe with a margarita. <laughs> It's not my proudest moment. I felt really terrible when I sent them a picture of me with a drink with an umbrella by the pool with palm trees. And I did not know they were literally in day one of an ice storm. Like we couldn't come home. We went to the airport, everything was canceled. We couldn't come home. Our airport in Portland was shut down, like no flights going in or out. It covered a good portion of the Pacific Northwest, but we were trapped in Florida and my kids were here with no power in an ice storm watching my dog. My oldest son-in-law got my oldest daughter here who was seven months pregnant. That was kind of stressful. My mother-in-law was like hot on duty of like, Chris says he's taking me to Florida next week. And she was like, I got you. I will watch your baby. She's fine. She's like seven months. She's not, she's totally having a safe, healthy pregnancy. Go, I will watch you. I did panic a little when I realized Madeline was trapped here in an ice storm with no power. Um, but Braden got her here because he also works for the city and he drives the snow plow, like literally. My husband and my oldest son-in-law both work for the city of Portland, Oregon. Um, they do two completely different jobs. It's a huge city. And um, yeah, so anyways, Braden drives the snow plow. So he literally was not going to be able to be here and take care of Madeline and make sure she was okay. So he got her here where my youngest son-in-law and daughter live in the apartment. They moved into the big house. And I have, of course, you've seen my pantry. Like I'm so stocked. We're so fine for food. Not that they weren't, but we're so fine for food. So, and we have all kinds of camping gear. They got out the camp stove. Um, there was no power. I found all my games out. Like they had pulled games out of the drawers and my youngest son-in-law wasn't working, of course, because of the storm, but my oldest son-in-law had to drive the snowplow. So he was so, Brad and Claire and Madeline just like hunkered down. They had food out in the snow, like to keep cool because the fridge wasn't working. Anyways, not my proudest parental moment, that photo from the pool. But I really didn't know what was coming. I didn't know what was starting. They were like, it's a little stormy here. Anywho, 
we got to the airport, realized we couldn't get home, realized it was worse than we thought, and then realized I had thrown my swimsuit away because I was like, it's getting kind of a hole in it from that pool and we're headed home today. So alas, we picked up, we went on a swimsuit shopping spree and spent a few more days at a gorgeous hotel at the airport in Florida. And um, so I'm set for Hawaii. Does that, is that the like, that was the most spoiled story I ever told. Wow. Um, wow. <laughs> well, I'll just say thank you, honey, for spoiling me this year in the vacation department. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, Hawaii was pretty much a surprise too. We've been trying to figure out whether to do Paris yet. London and Amsterdam are the other two cities we want to visit, and they all had different criteria for, I don't know if we're supposed to say the word yet, um, but they all have different criteria. Um, and so we thought we would give it a little bit longer and wait till all the criteria kind of matched up amongst the countries. If there's another pandemic and we never get to go, then there is, and uh, that's what it is. But in the meantime, things are looking like they're opening up a little more. So we decided to scooch Paris a little bit farther, and he was like, I want to take you on the Hawaii trip you always deserved. That was what he said, and he means it because we've had one Hawaii trip and I never wanted to go back because he could not sit on a beach to save his life. The man could not sit on a beach. And um, so yeah, we didn't get along great in Hawaii because I wanted to lay on a beautiful beach in paradise and he was just like, what can we do now? Where can we go now? Where can we eat now? Are we gonna be ready in time for dinner? What should we pack up now? I mean, it was, uh, Anyways, that's been a long time, he says. I've grown so much, I'm so different, we've grown so much, we're so different, and he says he wants to take me on the Hawaii trip I deserved. So, I don't know if anybody deserves that, but I will take it. So that's what today's Tiny Tidy was. What the heck do we have for Hawaii? What the heck do we need for Hawaii? And um, I think I'm set for swimwear. I want one more cover-up because I really, I've got some, mm. okay, let's look at dresses. So I'm not sure I'm going to need another cover-up because here are two summer dresses. My husband loves this one every time I wear it. He's like, you look so pretty in that dress. I don't dislike it, but it always surprises me how much he likes it. But he does. So that could very easily go over top of my swimsuit. And then it would be longer than my swimsuit cover-up and I might feel more comfortable if we like run... I mean, let's be honest, the most we'd do is probably go to a taco truck on an actual beach day. But, um, and then this one I do love. I just like the fit. I like the colors. I think I could wear both of these for a swimsuit cover-up. Like, get my swimsuit, my swim skirt on for the day, throw those on with some strappy sandals. And then if we hit a beach, we hit a beach. If we don't, I'm dressed for lunch or wherever we want to go. I think both of those would work for that. This is the dress I believe I'm going to take for like our, we're having two nice fancy dinners out. I think I'm going to take this one. That's cuter on than it looks. And I think I'm going to take this one. So again, these ones for some reason, they just don't look as cute on the hanger, but I think those will be my, my dinner out dresses. And I think those would work for cover-ups. So, actually, I don't think, I think I'm probably pretty set. And um, this was this was a good, um, what do they call it, recon? We did a recon <laughs> trip for the, <laughs> for Hawaii. Okay, last one, but this one will totally work for cover-up. It's a little shorter, but it is still right at the knee. It is really dark navy, almost black. That one zippers up the side, I believe. Oh, nope, zippers up the back. Um, but yeah, that'd be, yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm set. I mean, I'll probably throw in a couple pairs of shorts and a couple tank tops and a jacket, but we are going to pack light. If we did learn anything from our first trip to Hawaii, it was we packed way too much. Okay, last thing is, that these are my, I carry a very large purse at home, but on vacation I bring that large purse. Yes, I do. But then I also bring um, like a travel purse for, like I said, on a beach day or just like Disney World, that type of thing. So this guy has more space, but this guy has like a built-in wallet. That one might be a toss-up. I might have to think about that because I definitely think I'm going to need a beach type 
purse. We are staying right by Lahaina, right by Old Town, so we will be wandering up the main street of Old Town Lahaina probably every evening is kind of our guess that we'll go we'll go get a Hawaiian shave ice or um, maybe grab a cocktail once or twice and have a couple of nice dinners, do a little shopping, go watch the sunset. Um, we have a cute little park there, so I definitely need a bum around town purse. I think I'm going with built-in wallet. I think I am going with built-in wallet. Voila. Look at that. Successful. Okay, so not too shabby. We have tidied up our... Oh, we need to dust it. I need to dust it, but... We tidied up our summer bin section for today's Tiny Tidy on top of cleaning our whole darn house. And um, in here I did leave my extra spring duvet. I took the clips for my sheets and I did leave my backup purse. Yeah, that's it. I don't keep a bunch of purses anymore. I used to when I was young, but that's like my sort of wintry purse. So I will be using that again this fall. And I kept the extra little purse I put right inside it. So that's sort of travel-y. And then this is everything for Hawaii. So again, I probably won't take this because I'll probably take a backpack and that's sort of like our weekend get getaway weekender bag. But yeah, got everything we needed and we should be set. Wow, do I look straight out of the 90s? I look straight off of Full House. I often throw my hair up in a foofy for like housekeeping and that's why it's in a foofy because I cleaned my whole house today. Um, and then my new earrings for my new shop, which by the way, thank you so much for the outpouring of love in the comments. It was just really, oh, it was really heartwarming and thank you for everyone who ordered and I am off to fill orders. That is, that is what I have to do next with this day. So, um, but yeah, this is the Kiki in raw brass and marbled clay which is the pattern on the leather, it's not clay. Um, but it's like a multi-color, it's almost pastel, but it has like every color, you can almost wear it with anything. But I was still in the future, and so, um, yeah, I look straight out of the 90s, which is so my decade. So, I'm feeling it, and I'm going with it, and my girls are gonna make fun of me, and, <laughs> or they'll tell me it's back in style, because I was like, it will never come back in style, and they were like, yes it will, mom, everything does. So, I'm, I'm bringing it back, yo. Um, all my 90s girls out there. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Katie, I know you're a 90s girl. Christine, are you a 90s girl? I think you might be younger than me. Anyway, I'm bringing it back, baby. Um, so, but yeah, thank you for joining me on my whole house clean montage and my tiny tidy, my summer clothing space and pretty much helping me pack for Hawaii. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about it. So uh, let me know, as always, this is an open collab. The usual suspects are all in the playlist down below with a couple of new faces each week. And it is the highlight of my week when you tell me what you tiny tidied. So please hit me up in on Instagram in the DMs if you want. Tag me on Insta. I can see your before and after. Or at least give me a little comment. Give me a little shout out and let me know what we encouraged you to tiny tidy today. I will see you Saturday morning for Swedish death cleaning because we need to get back on our Swedish death cleaning game. Yeah, we really do. So back at it. Swedish death cleaning Saturday morning. Be there or be square. Thanks again for being here on the helpful home. <laughs>